Oh, hey, welcome to Simplifying Radicals with your host, this guy. <laughs> Alright, so let's simplify some radicals. First off, what's a radical? <laughs> it's a square root sign. This marker doesn't work. <laughs> um, it's a square root sign. Okay? Now, you're thinking to yourself, well, Mr. Tarver, I've learned so much about radicals. What's the number underneath the square root sign? That is called the radicand, R-A-D-I-C-A-N-D. You won't learn that unless you're in a smart math class. And if you're not in a smart math class, then you won't learn that. Okay? Radical, radicand. Good. Great. Glad we go through the terms. Now, what a square root sign does is it does the opposite of squaring something. Say you had 3 squared. That would equal 9, correct? What a square root does, or what a radical does, it says, hey, what times itself equals this number? Huh, I don't know. In this case, it is 3. So essentially, these are complete opposites of each other, which is good to remember whenever you want to start solving equations. Okay, whenever you have to do the opposite to get rid of it, you can do one or the other. Lovely. Okay, now, what I want to focus on today, because that's pretty self-explanatory. If you have a calculator, you can just type in square root and get it. What I want to talk about today is simplifying the radical, which is what a lot of people have trouble with. Now, your main numbers, these, I call these my money makers, all right? 4, 9, 16, and 25. Okay, 36 and 49 help, but if you have these, then you should be good to go. Sorry, I was checking to make sure that was in the screen. Now, those four are special when it comes to radicals. You know why? What is 2 times 2? What is 3 times 3? 4 times 4 and 5 times 5. The reason we use these numbers is because when we put them under the radical, they bust out of the jail, the radical jail. It's a tough prison. People get shanked there. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Lost an uncle. Actually, he's okay. Um, he eats cheese. I'm still talking about this. Here we go. Radical of 4 equals 2. Radical of 9 equals 3. Radical 16 equals 4. And radical 25 equals 5. Okay? The reason they're special is because when you get the radical of them, they equal a whole number. If I did the radical of 7, that's not going to be a straight up number. Okay? The radical of 7 would be something like 2 point something, 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 something. I don't know. Okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into examples. Like a swimming pool. What? It's cold. Let's go anyways. Okay? Here we go. Let's try radical of 72. Okay? We want to simplify this radical. We don't want a decimal. We want it in simplest radical form. Okay? So, simplest radical form. What I want to do is I want to split 72 into two radicals. Okay? Now, you are allowed to do this as long as it's multiplication factors of it. Okay? I don't know if that's the correct term, but we'll say yes, because assuming you probably don't know since you're watching this tutorial. All right? I want to see if any of these numbers go evenly into 72. Now, like I said, if we'd have kept going, we'd have gotten 6 times 6, which is 36, and then 49. But to keep it simple for you, these four will always break it down into something you can work with. Okay? So we got radical 72. Do any of these numbers go into 72 evenly? Yes. Actually, a few of them do. Um, we're going to go with 9, because I'm sure that's the one that jumped out at you first. So, I can bust it out and put 9 there. What times 9 equals 72? 8. Correct? Yeah. 9 times 8 is 72. Now, I can split these up because it does not change the problem. It's like saying radical 9 times radical 8. Okay? I could always put them back together and say radical 72. I did not change my problem. Okay? I'm just changing what it looks like so that we can simplify the radical. Radical of 9. This is why I split them up into these numbers. That's why I see if these numbers go into our main radicand. The reason I want to is because if I get it to where one of these numbers is by itself, I can bust it out of radical prism. Radical of 9 would be 3. The square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. Okay? Now, I've still got radical 8 on there. And we would be done, but... Did any of these numbers go into radical 8? Uh, yes, every day of the week in Compton, which is where I'm not located right now. Okay? 4 does. 
How many times does 4 go into 8? 2. So I bring my 3 down because it's still there. It doesn't just go home and eat chicken and sit on the couch. And Okay. So we got 3 times radical 4 times radical 2. Now, the reason I split it up into this number was why? That's right, because the radical of 4 is positive 2. So I bring down my 3. It's 3. I'm going to write it up here if that's okay with all y'all because I'm running out of room. So 3 times 2, which is radical 4 went to 2. Now this radical 2 is still here, so we put it on the end. Now can I simplify that? Why, yes I can. 3 times 2 is 6. Radical 2. You're done. You've simplified the radical. Now, um, I guess that's it. Maybe I can do one more. Let's do one more. That way you get a little bit more practice in. Okay? It doesn't hurt. Well, it does if you're punching yourself, but don't punch yourself. That's rude. Okay, let's go with um, 350. So I want to get the simplest radical form of 350. Right off the bat, the one that jumps out to you is 25. Okay? So I know that radical 25 is there. Now, what times 25 is 350? Well, I think we get in the money sense. Four quarters is a dollar, so four times three dollars would be 12, and then two more, so it's 14. Radical 25 is five. Bring down my radical 14. Now, do any of these numbers go into radical 14? No. So, guess what? I am done. Boom shakalaka, I thought you knew. Check it off, rock the vote, call P. Diddy. Um, if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter, at Tyler Tarver. My website's www.tylertarver.com. I've also got some geometry videos listed on there, so you can go there. And if you want to, you're more than welcome to check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Tyler's OK. What? I'm done.